This question asks us whether the line y equals to 2x plus 2 intersects the circle or not. So if we had a circle and there was some line, well that line could clearly miss the circle, it could intersect the circle, or it could be a tangent where it cuts at exactly one point. But how would we know what this line does to that circle? All we do is we, we plug the straight line into the circle and if we get an answer then we know that the that the line does cut the circle and if we get an error on our calculator well then it means the line clearly does not go through the circle and if we only get one answer then it means it's a tangent because it only touches it once but if we get two answers then it means it's we call this a secant because it cuts the circle in two places so all we do is we're going to go and take the circle's equation and change the y value for 2x plus 2. So this part here was the straight line. And then I say equals to 4. I don't know why that's changed color. Now we just go ahead and we solve. So that's going to be x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus this part here. Oh, I must have a little square there. This part inside the bracket is going to be 2x plus 4. Four. And if we had to multiply that out, that would give us 4x squared plus 16x plus 16 equals to 4. I'm then going to put the x squareds together, so that's going to give us 5x squared. And the x's together, that's going to give us 14x. And then the numbers will all go together. Oh, I must remember this plus 1, this plus 16, that's 17. If we bring the 4 over, that's going to give us positive 13. We can then use the quadratic formula. And if you had to use the quadratic formula for this, you should get an x value of, nope, we don't get an x answer, we get an error on the calculator. What that means is that that line does not cut the circle, so it looks like that. Here's another one, so we're going to take the same line and we're going to see if it intersects this circle. So once again, all we need to do is plug the straight line equation into the place of y. So that's going to give us 2x plus 2 minus 4. You see, so that 2x plus 2 is from the, is from the straight line. So I replace that y, well, that y with the straight line's y. And then I say equals to 9. I can then go multiply out. This plus 2 and this minus 4, that's just going to give us minus 2. And so if I had to multiply that out, you can do this the long way where you put the two brackets next to each other like this but I'm just doing it the quick way. So that's going to give us 4x squared minus 8x plus 4 equals to 9. I'm then going to put all the x squareds together, so that's going to give us 5x squared. The x's will go together, so that's going to give us minus 10. And then if you put all the numbers together, that's going to give us 5 minus 9, which is minus 4. We then use the quadratic formula. And once you've done the quadratic formula, you should get answers of 2.34 and negative 0 0.34. So does the, does the line cut the circle? Yes, and because we've got two answers, it means it cuts it in two different places, and so we would call that line a secant. Okay, let me write that out for you. A secant cuts the line in two places. If we only got one answer, such as x equals to 1 and x equals to 1, which so they're the same value, then it would be a tangent. And if we got an error, then it means it doesn't cut the line at all. Then if you wanted to find the y values to those points, you would just go plug them back into the place of y. You would do each one separately, so you would get two different answers.